dear students now we are going to see the synthesis of sal butamol so first to we'll see the structure of sal butamol it is having the parent nucleus as benzyl alcohol and in the benzyl alcohol it is having alpha carbon so this alpha carbon is connected with tertiary butyl amino methyl group and fourth carbon is connected with the hydroxy group and third one is connected with hydroxy methyl so what is the structure of sal butamol having the parent as benzyl alcohol in the alpha carbon it is connected with the tertiary butyl amino methyl and fourth position it is having hydroxy third one it is having hydroxy methyl that's why its chemical name is 4 hydroxy 3 hydroxy methyl alpha tertiary butyl amino methyl benzyl alcohol why it is getting the name sal butamol because for this we can divide the word into four that is sal but am oil sal no so that is indicating the structure salicylic acid so salicylic acid is the parent one for this that is we have known already salicylic acid what is that benzene ring with one hydroxy group and one carboxylic acid group and both are ortho to each other means that is called as salicylic acid here parent one for this is salicylic acid here the acid part no that is reduced and we are having hydroxy methyl group that is primary alcohol so this is indicating the presence of salicylic acid and next one is but no that is indicating the presence of a tertiary butyl group am is indicating the presence of uh, this one amino group and ol no that is indicating the presence of this the hydroxy group so this is a selective alpha beta 2 adrenergic receptor agonist it is used in the treatment of asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease it is formulated as a racemic mixture that is it is formulated as r and s isomers in the tar isomer no that is having greater affinity for beta 2 receptor how much it is having greater affinity that is having 150 times greater affinity than than the s isomer whereas the s isomer no that is associated with toxicity now we'll see the synthesis of sal butamol for this we have taken the starting material as methyl salicylate so what is methyl salicylate already we have known salicylic acid now in the salicylic acid one h is replaced by means of the methyl means that is called as methyl salicylate so with the methyl salicylate we have added chloroacetal chloride what is it chloroacetal chloride so already we have known acetal chloride ch3coclo that is acetal chloride here in three hydrogens one is replaced by means of cl means that is called as chloroacetal chloride so by the addition of these two it undergoes a friedel crafts reaction so by the addition of friedel crafts reaction here we have that hydrogen no so that hydrogen is removed and that is removed as hcl by taking this chlorine so hcl is removed that's why the left co ch2 cl is added here and we are getting this product now with this one we are adding n tertiary butyl benzyl amine so what is tertiary butyl benzyl amine we have known this is benzyl with the benzyl amino group is there means that is called benzyl amine in the nitrogen of benzyl amine tertiary butyl is attached that's why it is called as n tertiary butyl benzyl amine by the addition of these two here this cl combines with this h removed as hcl that's why the left group that is with the ch2 nitrogen would be attached and one end of nitrogen is connected with the tertiary butyl another end is connected with benzyl amine benzyl sorry benzyl and now uh, now we have taken that one so with this we are going for hydrolysis on hydrolysis what happens a ester is hydrolyzed and here the bond between the oxygen and the carbon no that will be broken so with this in we have added hydrogen and this in we have added h so here h here oh so this is removed as methanol and this in no that will be converted to acid so that's why we are getting acid here now we are going for selective reduction by means of lithium aluminum hydride on selective reduction the acid part no that is reduced and we are getting a primary alcohol so again it is undergoing reduction by means of sodium borohydride on reduction here we have a ketone no so that ketone is reduced and we are getting a secondary alcohol okay, last step is here we are going for treating with 
palladium and acetylene by the addition of these two there may be reduction that is addition of hydrogen so how the hydrogen would be added by breaking the bond between nitrogen and carbon so here bond would be broken either side of the bond hydrogen should be added that's why this should be removed as removed as a toluene and the left no that would be called as salbutamol so that's all about the synthesis of salbutamol